That's what alcohol does to you. Alcohol only makes you retarded. Some of you guys get so drunk, you look like you're born retarded. You're staggering, you can't talk, you can't walk. This is how you sound when you're drunk. That's what alcohol does to you. You can't even think straight anymore. You can't even talk anymore. That's why the Bible says to be sober so that you can think with a sound mind so that you can actually read the scriptures and know God and so that you won't be taken advantage of. A lot of you women get drunk and then these men take advantage of you. A lot of, the, a lot of you women get drunk and then these men end up busting a train on you. That's what happens. These men want to get you drunk so that they can sleep with you. A lot of these men want to get you women drunk so that they can get in between your pants. Time for you to repent. You men are filthy. You men are evil. Only trying to use alcohol to get a, a little leeway with a female. Time for you men to actually honor the opposite sex instead of looking at the opposite sex as a piece of meat. Oh, we got one person that agrees here. Oh, time for you to stop sinning. If you are a friend of the world, you are an enemy of God. The Bible says love not the world. If anybody loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord? Yet you don't do what I say. You're a hypocrite if you call Jesus Lord, but you're living as a drunk. You're a hypocrite if you call Jesus Lord, but yet you're cursing with your mouth. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Time for you to take the rebuke. Time for you to actually swallow it up. Time for you to actually uh, take responsibility over your sin. Time for you to acknowledge that you're a sinner. You've offended God. You've committed crimes against God. You've dishonored God. You've displeased God. You've transgressed against God. Sin is lawlessness. Sin is ignoring God. Sin is turning your back on God. Sin is giving God the middle finger. Sin is living your life as if you are God. Oh, you are not God, you are a creation of God. Time for you to prepare to meet your maker. Prepare to meet your creator. If you're still living as a drunkard, you're not ready to meet your maker. If you're still living as a lover of pleasure, you're not ready to meet your maker. If you still have a potty mouth, you're not ready to meet your maker. If you're still a pothead, you're not ready to meet your maker. If you're still pro-abortion, you're not ready to meet your maker. If you're still a homosexual, you're not ready to meet your maker. If you're still a drunkard, you're not ready to meet your maker. Prepare yourself for the day of the Lord is coming soon. And if you die in your sin, you will bust hell wide open. You have one life to live and then comes the judgment. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away your sin, but you must be born again. You must submit to God. You must surrender to Jesus. Surrender King Jesus. Otherwise, you will pay the repercussions in hell fire. Submit to Jesus or burn in hell. Jesus is the reigning king. All authority has been given to him. And unless you bow the knee, unless you surrender your life, you will be regarded as an enemy of God, as a child of the devil and you will get what you deserve. Your sin will find you out on the day of judgment. God is no match for you, sinner. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Time is short, tomorrow is not promised. Time for you to stop wasting your life at a football game. Many of you are obsessed. Many of you are obsessed. Many of you are hypnotized by a football. Many of you are more interested in football than you are about the Bible, than you are, I am loving you. I am loving you. I am, I'm helping you to know the ways of God so that you don't end up in hell. God rebukes and disciplines those whom he loves. Jesus Christ said, depart from sin, go and sin no more. That's how he helped the adulterous woman. He said, stop sinning, leave something worse will happen to you. You people don't know what love is. You people think love is lust. You people confuse love with lust. You're filled with lust towards one another. You're still wearing the mask, buddy. You've been brainwashed. Talk about being brainwashed. The mask is not gonna shield you from the wrath of God. Time for you to be vaccinated with the Holy Ghost. 
Oh, you're not going to be telling Jesus to shut up on the day of judgment. Uh, you, you parents need to teach your kids the ways of God. You're going to give an account. You're going to give an account for how you raise your children. Time to train your kids in the way of the Lord so that they don't become homosexuals, so that your kids do not become hoochies, so that your kids do not become low lives, so that your kids honor God and fear God and make it to heaven. Many of you parents are sending your kids to hell. Many of you parents are letting your kids go to hell. You hate your kids. The greatest hate crime is for you to let your neighbor go to hell. Time for you to warn the wicked. Time for you to uphold the wicked. I am loving you. I'm loving you by telling the truth. The truth is offensive to those who live a lie. Time for you to swallow the truth, even though it's a hard pill to swallow. Jesus said, I didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. The truth will divide. The truth will divide the righteous from the wicked. The truth will divide light from darkness. Choose this day whom you will serve. There is a spiritual battle for your soul. Satan wants to steal, kill, and destroy you. God wants to save you. You need to submit to God. Resist the devil. Draw near to God, and God will draw near to you. And not to mention, there's a bunch of drunks out here. You drunks, your breath stinks. Your breath stinks just like your sin stinks. Your sin is stinky. Your sin is smelly. Your sin is abominable just like your breath, you drunkards. You drunkards need to sober up. You drunkards need to be filled with the Holy Ghost instead of being filled with Modelo, instead of being filled with Coronas. Alcohol is only gonna make you stupid. Alcohol is only gonna make you retarded. Alcohol is only gonna make you stagger. Alcohol is only gonna make you wanna get into a brawl. You're gonna end up getting beat up, getting so drunk, staggering, and talking smack. Time for you to fear God. When you stand before the Lord, oh, you're not gonna be able to be a tough guy. When you stand before the Lord, the Lord is gonna cast you into hell fire. You're gonna be a Jesus reject. You're gonna be a reject in hell, rejected from all of God's goodness, rejected from all of God's grace. The Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. That means you, especially if you're a drunkard. If you're a drunkard, uh, you need to sober up. You need to be set free. If you're a drunkard, you're filled with demons. That's why they call alcohol spirits. You're swallowing up demons. You get drunk, you end up sleeping with a fat whore. You get drunk, you end up sleeping with a sore loser. You get drunk, you end up getting pregnant, then you want to get an abortion. You see how dumb drunkenness makes you? Drunkenness is a mocker and don't give me the excuse that Jesus turned water into wine. That doesn't give you an excuse to get drunk. The Bible clearly says that drunkards, winos, alcoholics, lovers of alcohol will not enter the kingdom of heaven. As a matter of fact, if you're drinking alcohol, you're only shrinking your brain. You're only losing your brain cells. You're only getting dumber and dumber than you already are. The Bible says that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Shame on you, buddy. You glory in your shame. Your God is your belly and you glory in your shame. You represent everything God is against. God is going to cast you into hellfire unless you repent. And you're going to make a big splash into the lake of fire when he throws you in there. Time for you to wake up. Time for you to actually open your eyes to the beauty of God. Many of you people have your eyes locked on a football. That little dumb football, uh, it's not going to do anything for you. There's a huge problem when you're obsessed with sports entertainment and you have no concern for God. There's a huge problem with you when you spend hours and hours on end getting drunk and watching football, but you can't even spend one hour to read the Bible. How are you going to ever get to know the living God? God has given us his word so that we can know him. If you don't read the Bible, you're a Bible illiterate. Uh, it's time for you to read the word of God. Know the living God. Obey the living God. Submit to the living God. Honor the living God.